Hi. Hello, Josh. Labino explained who the Hashashin were. Yeah? The cult of the assassins. Oh, boy. I have to go. Okay. Good luck. The rod turned smoothly, and the window above me opened. A real macho guy would have plunged straight into the spiky, scratchy bushes. Not me. Don't open it! Remember, the burning cattle! It is closing time, Monsieur Lobino. Already, there just aren't enough hours in the day. More than enough for me. I can't wait to get home and put my feet up. Eh bien, see you tomorrow. Good night, Monsieur. Hey, Guido! Look at this! Quit fooling around, you moron! Get your ass over here and bring that flashlight! What the... Who's there? Let's get out of here! And when I woke up, I was at the police station. Luckily, I managed to persuade Rosso I was innocent. Poor George. What a mess. I bungled the whole thing. I don't think so. You made a pretty good job of distracting those two crooks. Yeah, but the killer got away with the tripod. No, he didn't. He's not the only one who can dress up in costume. You mean... It was you who stole the tripod? Oh, hell, Nico. I could have been shot. Those dogs are more likely to shoot their own feet. 
I just wish you'd told me your plans. We're supposed to be in this together. But how come you dressed up like a pantomime cat? Don't suck, Georgie, please. Oh, rats. And don't call me Georgie. Oh, I really thought you'd be pleased. After all, we've got the tripod. Aren't you going to try putting the gem on the tripod? I guess so. Nothing happened. Yeah. The gem fits perfectly, but what does that prove? Maybe the tripod has to be in a certain location. There's nothing on the manuscript to indicate where, though, is there? Oh, by the way, I had a visit from André Lobineau. Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. He was over the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He made a sketch of the Knight's Crest to take back to the museum. I believe he's identified the family who bear that crest. I sure hope so. What do you think the purpose of this tripod is? On the manuscript, the gem is shown mounted on top of it. So, we risked a criminal charge to steal a display stand? Don't ask me. Maybe it's intended to hold the gem in a specific position. Let's take another look at the manuscript. That's the tripod we borrowed from the museum. I have to go. Already? You only just arrived. Time and tide wait for no man. Okay, I'll see you later. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. What's with the long face? Haven't you heard? The tripod was stolen. No kidding. I just don't get it. So many other treasures, and the thieves choose the tripod. A modern-day alchemist, perhaps? Who knows? There's no shortage of crazies in Paris. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Yeah. She told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fine Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Well, we, of course. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we pilgrims in our thousands on our way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. 
Do you think the manuscript could be the map to the Templar treasure? Frankly, no. That's too far-fetched. The manuscript is interesting enough and a rare find, but that's all. Wouldn't it be terrific if it was a map, though? The treasure of the Knights Templar. A romantic notion, Georgie, but extremely improbable. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Hello again, officer. Hello again, monsieur. I'll see you around. Oui, monsieur. I'll be there. I had no desire to talk to the crowd. Hey, you with the balls. Oui? Look, a red nose. Oh, well, you say, whoop de doo Have you seen this man before? No. Feast your eyes on this. Incroyable! Is it real? I think so. Some people believe that great gems always have curses upon them. Oh, that's garbage. Although, now that I think about it, both of the people who had this before me disappeared in mysterious circumstances. And the guy who was supposed to get this was shot and then murdered in his hospital bed. Do you want it? No, thank you. Does this lab pass mean anything to you? You work in a lab? No, try again. You steal lab passes? No. Well, not as a habit. This was a special case. This gadget is a sewer key. I do not want it. Thank you. Well, I'm not selling it. I just wanted your opinion. It is hardly my area of expertise. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? You smoke? No, I don't. In that case, it means nothing to me. Does this plaster interest you? <laughs> well... Forget it. Forget that I asked. What do you think of this? It is a medical device, oui? Oui. Uh, yes. It didn't seem right to fry somebody's palm when they make their living with their hands. Does this grease paint mean anything to you? It looks like one of mine, or at least another jongleur. Or a clown? Mais naturellement, a clown. Hardly a breakthrough. I've got a medieval tripod. And my Uncle Claude has hemorrhoids. So what? What do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier? Ah, the last Grandmaster, Jacques du Molay, was burnt on an island in the Seine in 1314. Wow. You're pretty well educated for a juggler. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. How did you learn to be a juggler? Juggler? What is this juggler? It's you. You juggle, that makes you a juggler. No, I am a jongleur. A jongleur? What's that? Mon Dieu! A jongleur is an artist, a master of the contragravitic aerobaletic mysteries. In centuries past, the courts of the crown heads of Europe had the jongleurs, witty, erudite men to whom the monarchs turned in their hours of need. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Our enemies are at the borders, plague ravages the land, and the peasants are revolting. Thank God we've got Chuckles the jongler to throw his balls around. I don't think so. That juggling doesn't look so difficult. Oh! It does not, does it not? Perhaps you feel you could do better. 
No, I'll give it a try. Be my guest. I had no idea what I was doing. But this guy was obviously an idiot, so how difficult could it be? A lot more difficult than I thought. That's how difficult. Still, it was my big chance to be derided by complete strangers. Not so easy after all, is it? No, I guess not. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Hey, hey you, what do you think you are doing? Leave that cover alone. Sorry, no harm intended. You stay away from that. I had no desire to talk to the crowd. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> 